What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Look, you can see I'm already starting to smile. Why? Because I'm finally getting around to making this video. Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make, look, just beef pot pie, pie. Now, if you guys look up here, I have a link up there. Click on that. You guys can see when I did the chicken pot pie, right? And then when I did the chicken pot pie, I did not put a bottom crust. You know what I mean? Uh, I love crust just as much as everybody, but that was probably the most commented, you know, uh, item on there was about, hey, I like it, but I want to see a bottom crust. Hey, so I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is, you know, to do. Now, with that being said, I want you guys to take a look at these ingredients right here. Check a look. All these ingredients, it look like a lot, but I promise you, super simple to do. You know what, we got to get out of our comfort zone. You know what I mean? Put a few more ingredients out here and we're going to turn it over to a great product. I know going over all of these ingredients, it might look like a lot, a lot, but I gotta say this, listen, trust the process, it's super easy. And as always, I want you guys to remember, all of the ingredients with the full quantity and everything is down in the description box below. And also, if you guys go to smoking and grilling with ab.com, right, you can go there and print one out. Super easy, go to the website, hit recipes, find this recipe right there. You'll see it with a thumbnail, click on it, and then click print. Hey, with that being said, let's get it. This is what we're gonna do. I'm starting to pre preheat my oven right to 350 degrees. I'm gonna set one of my pie crusts off to the side. We're gonna open this up. I know some of y'all are probably seeing it right now. How come I'm not, you know, making mine from scratch? I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what, my time is so valuable with everything that I do. What's wrong with using these pie crusts from Pillsbury Doughboy? I want you guys to tell me. Now look, I don't have my rolling pin here, but look, I'm gonna take these right here like this and we just gonna stretch this out. Just a little bit. Why? Because we gonna make two of these nice little pot pies. Hey, so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, how many of you guys have heard of Marie Callender's? I know her well, because back when I was doing construction on the road, listen, that was my girlfriend, you know, on the road. Don't tell nobody. But if you know about Marie Callender pot pies, let me know. I got this spread out just, you know, good without tearing, putting the holes in it, right? Now I'm just gonna take, you know, some spray, non-stick oil, right? We just spray a little bit here. Now we're gonna take this pie crust and then we're just gonna put it right here like that and we can kind of like just work it on down. Okay, so you guys can see both of these are done. Super easy. They ain't gotta be all pretty and nothing like that. You know why? Because we're gonna fill it with a whole bunch of goodness. So now, go ahead and put these in the oven. We already at 350 degrees. And before somebody asks, yes, these are oven safe. We'll put them in like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use this timer here. I like to use my, uh, my Alexa. Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. Now that we got our pie crust in the oven, right? Let's go ahead and cube these. Now look at this right here. This is a nice piece. Look at this. Yeah, about one inch, that's fine right there. Hey, let me just go ahead and show that right now. I know y'all saying right now, that's a cheap plug. Would you see that right there? Smoking and grilling. Hey, and check this handle out right here. Ooh wee, folks. Now we wanna make sure we got cubes, right? One inch. So all of this right here, we just cut this off. Cut it like that. I'm like that. That right there is nice. Now don't forget you're gonna get a little shrinkage, you know, but this right here, this is what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little salt. I'm only gonna put a little bit like this. We wanted to transfer anyway. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. Let me grab my black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start mixing it up like this. It's okay, folks. It's the holidays, we trying to stay warm, trying to get something to stick to the stomach and the ribs, this right here will do it. So we gonna use our hands, make it personal, right? I'm gonna get myself a medium high flame, right? Get my olive oil, get a little bit of this in here, cause look, we gonna brown a little bit. That's good. Now, let me clean my hands. I can see just a little bit of smoke starting to come off the top, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my cubes. All right, cause we're gonna just start to brown. Now, one of the things I like to do is make sure all of them, instead of them being on top of each other, I like for every every one of the cubes to like, you know, touch the surface of the Dutch oven. Or if you guys got a cast iron skillet, that works good too. I'm gonna go ahead and quit running my mouth so you guys can just listen to that right there. Yeah. 
you want to get them as uniform as you can so that way they cook evenly now it says chop right so after i cut it this way i don't know about y'all but when i cut it like this then it makes it a lot easier to peel i give it like this and this is about how many pieces you should get out of a half i like that right there so i'm gonna go ahead and just drop these in there I always want my onions to have a head start. Look, we started with the beef, right? Just to give you guys some, you know, some rhyme and reason to what we're doing. So if you get any of this beef, you know what I mean? Although it does release it releases juices in here, but anything on the bottom, when you come with the onion on top, you know what I mean? And this starts to work its way down. It starts to, you know, dissipate and become translucent. This right here helps it. Check it out. It'll pick up everything on the bottom. But as you can see right here, we really don't have nothing. So it's just a whole lot of flavor. I'm gonna put this top on here and let it cook maybe for about, maybe about three minutes, right? Okay, so let's take a look at it. All right, they starting to cook down, but most of this is gonna cook down when it's in the oven, you know? But I like where we headed right here. Now we're going to add a little tomato paste, right? So if you've been watching me for a minute, you know this right here brings a smile to my face. So let's just go ahead, press these, and let's make some minced garlic, folks. Okay, now for a little dry red wine. So now we're going to go ahead and start with our flour. We're just going to add a little bit of this flour over the top, right? Is it starting to say pot pie to y'all? No, nah, not yet, huh? Just stay with me. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use my better than bouillon. This is the beef version, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a heaping tablespoon. Look, this is the flavor, folks. I got it, it's over the top, but listen. Hey, you know what, I'm not gonna keep saying listen, just trust me. Now I'm finna come with my broth. What we doing right now is we just building flavors, folks. And what we gonna do is we are gonna let that come up to heat, and then that better than bouillon is just gonna dissipate, dissipate right? Now, we got some sugar and some other things. Look at what I'm doing, folks, especially for all you guys that are new. I want you to look at that. Look at the thickness of that. And after adding that better than bouillon and all of that, you can smell it. You know it's right. But we're not done yet. Now, you want to add just everything else and try not to make a mess like I'm doing. All right? And a little sugar for a little balance. Keep giving it a stir. Check my fire. We're still at a medium heat. And then last but not least, we're gonna come with these peas. Our old boy, old faithful, Mr. Bayleaf. We just wanna make sure he get, get him a little heat on him and let him do his thing. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, who is the person that decided they was gonna take a leaf off of a tree and put it in a food? If you guys know the answer to that, let me know. Hey, all y'all hit that Google and let me know what you think. All right, and for me, I didn't have no dry time, so what I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this in like this. We'll just put it in there like that. I think fresh is always better anyway, and we'll just let that work. I'm getting ready to, you know, prep my bowls. This is your guys first time seeing the pie crust. I'm gonna show you. You see right here where it kind of like came down? This is for me not having a, a, a rolling pin, right? Because I could have stretched that so I could have had even coverage over there. Or it could have been for the fact that I put it on here and it wasn't even. Either way, you just want to get a, a pin, stretch it out. You saw I was trying to open it up that way. But anyway, when you put it on here and it's nice and even, it won't, you know, when you put it in there, it won't draw back. But I promise you, I want to show you something. This right here, you see how it's moving? That's what you want. Nothing gonna stick to this. So when we fill these up and we put these back in there, listen, you guys that wanted to have crust, tell me what you think about that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just get my egg wash ready. Now, some people use egg wash and some people use butter. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, which do you prefer? Okay, so let's look at this right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is, Take my fork and we're gonna remove all of these. Now look, this is nice and hot. I can't wait to lick my fingers, folks. Oh, along with my bay leaf right here on top. We're gonna take this like this and we're just gonna start filling them. Ah, yes sir.
again, remember these are just ready-made pie crust. I'm gonna do it like this. You don't need no special, no nothing. Just lay it on the top like that. Well, let me shut this one over here, right? Then you want it to just like drape over. You guys can make some kind of design like what I'm doing right here. You know why I'm doing it like this? Cause look, I'm gonna eat it all. You know what I mean? Hey, we not wasting nothing. You guys said you wanted to have crust. Well, let's, let's have some crust. I know you guys out there, y'all like, man, I could do a much better job. You probably can. Hey, and check this out. If you guys on Instagram, go ahead, make this or any other of my dishes and just tag me. I love to see it. You know what I mean? Remember, it's soft right now, right? We're gonna stick this in the oven. Thing is, when we put this in the oven, you know it's gonna kinda like rise and make a dome. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me get my petty knife. And check it out, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut, I'm gonna just say make four slits. So I start, like if this is the middle, like that, then I just take one here. You just wanna let it breathe a little bit. For the cool part, we got the dough on the top, right? Now we come, this is where your egg wash come in. You know what I mean? We just wanna take it. And remember folks, this right here is what's gonna help it brown. Hey, super simple, you know what I mean? So look, now let's go ahead and put these in the oven. One hour. Alexa, set a timer for one hour. My timer just went off. Let me just go ahead and turn this off. Oh my goodness. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me You guys can see, take a look at this right here. Hey, come let's get up close and personal with it. Well, check it out, look at that. That's that, that's that goodness right there. Hey, with that being said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get it some. You know what I mean? We just hit it like that. Look, a little bit of that onion come out of there. Tell you what, we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this napkin because I'm not trying to ruin my day. Hey, you guys let me know how many times you burnt yourself and you messed up for about three or four days with that burn on that tongue, right? So look at that right there. Hey, come on in here and look at that. Now we only got a little bit of that crust. I ain't gonna dig all the way yet until it cools. All right, let's just do it like this. I'm scared, folks. Hey, just wait a minute. Just wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right. Ooh, this spoon is hot. I think it's cooled enough now. I can just, you know, I can try it. The only thing missing in that bike right there I'm gonna tell you, that was some of that beef. But, you've been following me for a minute. You know what I'm about to say. You can see it on my face. Look at the heat coming out of that. Look at that onion. Look at that crust. Look at that. Come on in there. You see that right there? This is real right here, folks. Listen, season just right. Don't deviate from none of the ingredients or none of the amounts. I promise you this is going to be just what you've been looking for. Hey, it's that time of the year. Hey, one more time, I'm finna go in, and then we're finna wrap this up. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you what's missing. What's missing is a tall, ice-cold glass of that sweet tea. Hey, super simple. Trust this process. When you guys taste it, please come back and let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget, you guys can find me on Instagram under Smoking and Grilling with AB, right? Go ahead and make this. You want me to see it? Just tag me in it and I'll be looking for it. With that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now you guys know they've been watching me for a minute. I like to pick up the bowl and walk out of here, but this right here is lava hot. Hey, so I ain't gonna do that, but guess what? I'm out. Peace.